Pickaxe. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Zero Degrees, the podcast with no qualifications where we try and solve your complications. I'm Ravs, and I'm joined by the lovely Lydia and Harry. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. How's it going? Doing pretty, pretty good. How are you guys doing? Yeah, doing good, doing good. Just kind of recovering, actually, from from last week's episode because it oh. went out yesterday mm. and I feel like it's just re brought back all of that kind of poop related trauma mm. that we all like we all we all experienced as a group together last week. Mm. God, it was a very poopy week, wasn't it? It was extremely poopy. I kinda don't want to talk about it again, but I guess we have to. Dirty now. Dan has <laughs> like scarred my memory for life, man. Like it's just oh geez all. I've uh, I've got a theory about Dirty Dan actually. Okay, wait, what Okay. All right. Okay. So have you guys been keeping up with Kate Middleton drama happening at the moment? Yes. And yes. no, I was on the train to London yesterday and I saw the theory of the missing princess and I was <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck is going on? Like, is, there, is, is Kate Middleton missing? Like, and I didn't read much about it. But I was like, what the fuck? Are you it well read on wild. the matter, Lydia? Are you... Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you want to, just so, just so that we don't, just for anyone who, you know, listens to this in the future. Okay. They, understand what's going on because everyone i feel like right now probably has some vague awareness but people yeah. don't forget Take okay us through. what is what is the situation um all right so uh, this is to my knowledge uh, f- feel free to fill in any gaps that i miss so basically uh was it back in like november or december or something like that they uh the royal family said that uh prince kate princess kate was having a, a don a bomb i can't fucking say it a a, a, a bomb ab- abdominal abdominal abdom- abdominal abdominal surgery abominable (laughs) abdominable snowman surgery and she wouldn't be around until easter but the thing is so she just literally hasn't been seen like not a whisper not a word like she's seemingly disappeared off the face of the planet and some weird stuff happened like there was a person who was part of the royal family who died and prince william didn't go and he said he wasn't going to because of a family emergency, but not because of Kate. So that was like a really weird thing that happened. And okay. then there's been no like reports of him being with her or or like basically it seems like she's just sort of disappeared off the face of the earth. And everyone's been going, well, where is she? Is she alive? Is she dead kind of thing? Um, then oh, wait, there she had was... surgery. Wait, 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 wait. There is a reason for her being gone, right? It, she's had but, surgery. Yeah. And now I'm saying out loud, I'm, I'm, what is, there's more of a reason why people are like uh confused. Is it that they've been like avoiding the topic they haven't been like you know they haven't given an announcement on her like status so there was there's like little weird things that happen it's very conspiracy theory but basically uh kensington palace they didn't make a social media post for kate's birthday which is something that they usually do um, okay, that is weird that, yeah that that is instantly strange. It's very strange. So that that was in January. Um, then uh, a Spanish journalist basically challenges the claims against uh, what's happening, saying that the uh, Kensington Palace is lying. I think they said that something like she's actually really, really ill in like a coma or something like that. I don't know. There's been all these sort of weird, wacky things. I actually saw something about that today. Um, then basically more and more people are like, where is she? What's going on? William is never seen with her, never talking about her. It's everyone's like, like it, acting like she doesn't exist. People are saying she's in a medically induced coma. Um, then, wait, let me remember. Right, then a picture goes out of her, but um, people are saying that it's like doctored or that you can't really tell that it's her. It's like this weird picture of her in a car, but it's really blurry. And it's like, why were there not more pictures? Um, then as this is all ramping up, getting people are like getting into a frenzy about this. Kate herself posts a picture on Mother's Day of her and her kids, but everyone notices that it's like a doctored yeah. photo. It's all like yeah. AI'd and weird. Wait, what? Yeah. So like, I'll, cla- I'll, cla- I'll, I'll clarify something. I mean, I don't want to say I'm a Photoshop expert, but I have spent a lot of time photo manipulating images. That that image, to my to my understanding, is not to my understanding is not AI generated. It is a hundred percent doctored. It's doctored. Right. Right. Okay. So it's been edited. Right. So then everyone's Mm. like, what the fuck? The first time she says anything in months and it's like a weirdly edited picture. She then uh, does another. That's so not like the Royals, right? Anything that comes out of them is very crafted, meticulously looked at. Like it's, it's, it's like all PR firmed up to the nines. You know, you don't make a boo-boo like this. 
Oh, a hundred percent. It was like really weird, obvious stuff, like the floor clipping and like weird bits hands of and hands and stuff that just didn't make sense. And shit. Yeah. So then she posts so again saying, oh, sorry about the confusion. Like many amateur photographers, I uh, have been dabbling with Photoshop. All right. So what? Uh, what? That's insane. What? That's crazy. You're telling There's me. There's no way the future queen of England is just dicking around on Photoshop. Yeah. No, they have people. <laughs> they have people to do that for them. Um, and what is she sitting there like uh, fucking with her Adobe Premiere, you know, account? Like what? what and why is it? So, why is it so weird? All the, the weird edits. It's almost like they've got lots of different pictures and put them together as if she's not around uh, to take the picture mm. on Mother's Day is, I think, what the theory is. So that seems like absolute bullshit. So to me, it looked more like they had taken, you know, they'd taken a set of photos and they had m tried to mash them together very badly. Yeah, to, yeah. You know, you, you know, a kid isn't smiling in this one, okay, and the, the kid's smiling in this one. Is, the kid's got a weird, you know, pose here or she looks weird. Okay, we'll just bash, bash the best bits of the best bits together, which is pretty common. Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Take the highlights and stuff them together. What isn't common is the amount of just artifacting and and shitty jobness of it. Yeah. So I I saw a thing that did confirm some someone dug into the metadata of the photo and it was confirmed to have been saved by Photoshop twice. It leaves markers in the metadata of the saving algorithm oh, when right. exporting something. So it is confirmed that it was it was edited in Photoshop. That you know that could just be adjusting lighting. Doesn't mean it you know it could be anything. But the image they gave out was confirmed to be edited in Photoshop. Right. Okay. And then that got like a, the most cease to cease like publication, like you have to take this photo down in the press. Yeah. Like a really serious, like everyone has to take what? this down. Like, so it's called like a kill order, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like a kill order on that picture. Um, on, in the meantime, like William had been asked questions about his wife's health, which he ignored. He like skirted around it. Um, then, then what happened? Um, these are such interesting edits. I'm looking at an article on this doctored image and it's like, oh, her, her like knee is like being touched up or changed. And there's a weird discrepancy with the zipper and a sleeve and everything. Like it's, it's, it's so bill. It was in terms of like just wanting, um, fucking internet gossip. It was the perfect timing to have everyone going mad. Cause they're like, she's disappeared. She's in a coma. She's they're yeah. divorcing. And then they release this picture, which she releases. Well, she in quotation marks and it's all weirdly edited. It's like proper it's, conspiracy. It's shit. So stri it's oh God. I feel like conspiracy nuts didn't need this kind of kindling. Oh my God. Like, they're oh loving my... it. God. I mean, I love reading it just because it's just so interesting reading. I mean, the theories are that they're divorcing and this is why it's oh, all like... Oh, really? Yeah, that, that, you know, that that's why she sort of disappeared and it's all weird and hush-hush or that the surgery is very serious. The, there's... Uh, new wait, wait, wait. The divorcing ones are just fucking. They're just. They're just seeding Diana round two. Those ones are just fucking. Oh they're yeah, just... they're, yeah. I've seen so many people being like, "It's happening again." <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no but you know why? Sake. Even more so that they're saying that. I saw last night. Basically, there is a woman that um, William is meant to have had a, an affair with. Right? Who is meant to have had this mistress? She's like part of the. I don't know if she's high society or who the fuck she is. But randomly, a bunch of news uh, outlets have started posting articles about her being like this is lady blah 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 and everything you need to know about her and people are like quote t t quote tweeting it being like no they the are fuck? soft launching his mistress now like it's, it's so weird i mean obviously it might just be literally she has had surgery she is unwell and that is it but i fucking love he has the a way mistress but, well, remember all that, all that stuff about him liking being pegged, which is actually why I started this. But apparently he has a very mistress. Based, Nothing very confirmed. Based. Very base. Nothing confirmed, obviously, but apparently he has had affairs. What's the mistress called? I can't I remember. Know. You have to Google it. I can't remember what her name was. Um, but anyway, then another picture came out of her in a car and people are being like, but you, it's so blurry. You can't see it's her. The bricks don't match. Like, why won't they just come out and say what's actually happening? Like, it's just the most bizarre thing, you know? Um, I'm, I, I mean, I, fuck knows. I want, I want Rose I Hanbury. Can... Oh my God. <laughs> Rose Hanbury. Rose Hanbury. Wow. What a name. Oh, also, uh, some Spanish publications have come forward saying um, that she uh, she is in a coma and she almost died. And the British pub uh, B British uh, p papers aren't uh, they've got like a kill list. They're not allowed to talk about it. But um, 
some other like reporters have got hold of this information kind of thing. Could be absolute fucking bullshit. But, you know, again, just absolutely sp- the conspiracy theorists just spiraling out of control here. I hate the Royals, but big up my man, Big Willie. He, from what I've read about him, he sounds fucking horrible. Oh, it's easy, am... horrible. Never mind, I retract my statement. Maybe this isn't fair because, to be fair, what I've read is vague and not really uh, a deep dive on him at all. But the vague things I've read about him, I don't know, he does something about him doesn't sit right They're with me. They're all fucking freaks, let's be honest. Well, yeah, yeah. You don't, you don't have that much power and money and you don't turn well, out like a fucking freak. Yeah, exactly. Um, I guess, my, uh, as Joe Schmo, British public, I'm just a little bit like... You have this wonderful opportunity and birthright of being the fucking queen or whatever. Like, we do deserve, if you're going to fucking rule over us in some fucked up way, which I don't really know if I agree with, Mm. like, we do deserve to know whether you're fucking alive or dead. Tell us. We are nosy. We are nosy. (laughs) But usually I'm like, let people be private. Like, that. This I don't know this wouldn't usually be my take, but I feel like with the royal family, it is different. Like, your purpose is to fucking exist there, sit there, and be our stupid monarch. Yeah. The, the li- very least you could do is tell us, is the next fucking monarch or queen going to fucking die? <laughs> like, yeah, like, or, you know, hun, just fucking get on Instagram live. Be like, bitch, it's okay. I am alive. Don't worry. You're all stressing about nothing. I'm fine. Mm. Like, do a little selfie from the hospital bed. You know, bitch, I lived. I don't know. Just something. Yeah, Everyone is going fucking nuts. Like, why wouldn't you tell people whether you're alive or what's happening? But I wonder if that makes me think maybe it is divorce because that's why it's like they're trying to cover it up with something else. But actually, like, because there's a whole thing with the uh, the the monarchy where they always hide stuff, right? Because they're scared that the public will either like lose support or like panic yeah, or yeah. something. And maybe you know, I don't know. But it's nuts. It's very strange, right? If 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 this was an easy answer, it feels like it's it, it's such an easy. It's such easy questions that yeah. I, the fact they're not answering them is super concerning. Yeah. Um, and they know I, that the I, internet's going nuts. It's like the biggest thing on the internet at the moment. My, my initial reaction was like, is there some other news about Prince Andrew or something coming out that, um, that, that, that creating the storm over here is right. changing the narrative, keep a narrative over here. Keep people busy on something else. I've just yeah. looked up this mistress's full name. Okay. You ready for this yeah, shit? I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh-huh. Sarah Rose Sholmondeli, Marchioness of Sholmondeli, knee <laughs> Hanbury. <laughs> what is that English? But, but her mates call her Shazza for short. <laughs> Shazza for short, yeah. <laughs> Who is she? Like, I feel depressed actually having just even found out about this person. Who is she? And why, why has she got this fucking incredible name? I have why? no idea. What has she done? To what, deserve- I don't know, but I'm, I'm understanding. I'm understanding. You know, I, I, I've, like, I've, I've developed a small crush. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. I'd say I'm looking at her now. But isn't it weird? Like suddenly all these articles, who is lazy? Lazy? Who is Lady Rose Hanbury? Like loads of them out of the blue two days ago, one day ago. What? One day ago. Why now? Why now is suddenly all these news reports being put out about her? Dude, I won't like Kate. Kate's better. Like he's fucked it up. If this if this is what he's dipped in. I'm it's a fucking Kate. classic Diana Camilla situation Oh my again. God. Yeah. Diana was fit. Yeah. No, sorry, Camilla. No offense. Hope you're not listening. Camilla's beat. What the fuck are you yeah, on about? I'm why sorry. are we talking about the royals? What was your oh, dirty wait, Dan wait, wait, theory? Wait, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dirty Dan, dirty Dan. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I had to explain the the law so this would make sense. Right. Hear me out. Dirty Dan, more like Dirty William, Princess Prince of Wales. <gasps> wait, right. Is that, is that your whole bit? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Hear me out. Right. He, you know, pegging. He loves a bit of yep. the old up the ass. I hope I don't get like killed for this by the royal family is a beheading a thing this is the last podcast we ever recorded with <laughs> well, Lydia. are they gonna am i treasoning um right Kate gets a bad dragon stuffs it up his ass right shit wow. everywhere now she won't talk to him she's grossed out by him she's disappeared she's so embarrassed by it all <laughs> that's where she's gone She's just. Are you suggesting that Dirty Dan is Prince William? <laughs> yes. I think it's real. I, I think, think it's is, yes, it. Dirty Willy. I think it is. Dirty Willy. <laughs> Dirty Willy. Oh my God. No. It makes sense, right? That like it all adds up. He likes pegged. I mean, we've She's never, disappeared. We've... <laughs> I don't think we've done any royal bashing on this podcast, so it'd be wow. quite a safe place for him to be. You know, I mean, he's yeah. Like I'm, I mean, I'm opposed to the royal family. However, you know, William, <laughs> my pagan king. 
<laughs> Pegging King. Wait, where did the out of interest? I'm going to Google this on not even on incognito mode. He's a pegging prince at the moment, right? So we king soon. W- William, the pegging prince. William, why? Where did this rumor surf from? What is pegging? Prince William rumor sparks interest. <laughs> prince William pegging. Yeah, what does this say? The Prince of Wales was dubbed the Prince of Pegging. Oh, it was because apparently there was a royal affair. And the person was said to enjoy pegging and everyone worked out that it was William. I think that's fine. They're up our pegging prince. No, Why I'm not? I'm going to be the new pegging prince. I'm sorry, William. I'm coming <laughs> for the phone. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, God. that's, yeah, that was my theory. There you go. I, I, I won't lie. I, I do pity her. Like, I do feel bad. What a nightmare. For which, for Kate? Yeah, just what a nightmare. I mean, God, like, I, this whole fucking, I, or the whole thing is insane. And li- being the princess must be fucking insane. And the whole, their lives are bizarre. Like it's, I'm not like, showing them like pity because they're rich and entitled, but it is so weird. Yeah. Like it is very fucking weird. Yeah. I don't know. I, oh God, the royal family is such a, it's just, I, I feel like I just like not thinking about it because I feel like it's such a scuffed fest. Of just, it is. Oh my God. Just it, it, cunts it, and twats and just. And fucking pedophiles. Like the whole thing. <laughs> the pedophiles. Jesus. And just like a fair, it's just like you, you have one of the most like insane privileges in the entire world. Just don't be a cunt. Like, yeah. you know, just don't be a cunt. <laughs> it's don't. so not hard. Like, don't be a cunt, please. Go Bring on. back Queenie, I say. <laughs> Miss you, Lizzie, every day. Kiss in the sky for you, honey. You're smoking that oh, Wessie pack. <laughs> <laughs> I, dude, I wish we had Lizzie right now. Fucking... she say it straight. She'd do a tweet being like, she would yeah, tweet. I killed her. And what? Oh, <laughs> no, maybe like, she would. I maybe she would. I did it. <laughs> Second one down. If she did like the Queen's address like, for, like, for Christmas or whatever, and it's just her waiting off a big fucking cigar... <laughs> And just saying, Rip Bozo, I had that bitch killed. I'd be like, you know what, Royals? I fuck with you. Fair, fair. You want fair. almost be more mafioso. I want yeah. them to. I want them to be ballers, man. No, I, yeah, it would be interesting. Maybe one day. <laughs> so what's our? I guess we should lay down our predictions. Oh yeah, I mean, I think they're getting divorced. I think this is all a cover up for a divorce. Yeah, I think he's getting pegged rotten by Lady Rose, whatever the hell, and Shamondoli or whatever. Uh, Hanbury and nice. yeah, whatever her name is and um, like Kate is like what the fuck and is like out and I don't think she did that picture I, I think maybe they can't get hold of her or maybe she, no maybe she is recovering I, I don't know what do you think Harry so I, I think the picture is old I reckon the picture is like six months old or four months like it's like, not like a year old but it's an old picture Yeah. and I think that the reason it's been doctored is because it's a picture they couldn't use before right right and so they've had to smash together some bad pictures to make a good picture that they can release. Mm-hmm. So that's why the picture is scuffed. I, I think she is like, I think she, she probably has like very bad health. And they've, yeah, yeah. for some reason, they're not willing to talk about it, maybe for her privacy or maybe because they don't want you know people to be wavering on the health of the potential next queen. You well, know? Especially because with the king having cancer, maybe they're like... I, I, you know? Yeah, there's like a bit too much fucking health worries for the royals mm. but I feel like that they would probably just come out and say that but maybe it's that classic you know they haven't said it for so long now they can't come out and say they it can't. they've dug that, dug that little hole yeah. I don't know I, I, I think she's probably going to be fine and we'll just make some weird public appearance and we, the, the and worst thing is about it. <laughs> no one will ever they will never talk about it that's no. what they will do which no. in, in some ways will feed these conspiracy theories forever yeah um, so I, I don't think they're ever going to comment on it. And I think she probably was just ill. Okay, yeah. if you're listening to this, don't go through the channel tunnel. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no. No, it, oh, was, no. it was in the channel tunnel. But yeah, don't go yeah. in any tunnels. What, the between? <laughs> well, I thought it was the channel tunnel, my bad. <laughs> no, no it was just don't, go don't go Paris. Uh, don't go Paris. <laughs> Oh I, the person I feel most bad for is the shitty fucking like little squibbling royal social media manager oh, who terribly was, photoshopped yes. that image. Oh my like, God. They're gone. They're, they're having they're a dead. bad time. Can they're you imagine? Tortured. They're getting pegged by Will. Like. <laughs> they are in the fucking it's Tower bad. of London chained up. Like that is there. Yeah. I do not. I would not want to have their job right now. Yeah, it'd be fucking bad. Right. And on that note.
My partner keeps on storing clothes in bin bags, but the problem is I then take these bin bags to the top and throw them away. In my defense, the first time this happened, I asked if the black bin bags were rubbish, and she said yes. Upon throwing the bags into the big pit at the tip, the nice clothes spilt out, and I realized what had happened. No. I explained the predicament to the lads at the tip, and they all laughed and gave me a big a bug hook to try and get the clothes out. Uh, but I didn't have the dexterity to make this work and went home empty handed to an angry girlfriend. The next time <laughs> I went to the top, uh, the tip, the workers recognized me as the guy who threw away all of his girlfriend's clothes and laughed. More recently, I saw a big bin liner full on the landing and thought my girlfriend must have had a clear out and put the bin bag in the black bin. A couple of days after the, <laughs> the bins had been emptied, my partner was asking where her bag of clothes was. No! What the fuck? How do we stop this from happening again? And can you apologize to my partner as she definitely listens to the podcast? <sighs> what the fuck? Oh, gosh. That's a tricky one, that is. Mm -hmm. um, Sorry, how the fuck do you... Wait, is this someone we know? You guys are both being very coy. <laughs> <laughs> it's me! <laughs> it's you! <laughs> it's Lydia. me! No! No. Okay, you know what? You know whenever we, we read that Am I the assholes And we're like, oh, I wish I could see no. the other person's perspective This is the perfect chance of it Because that bitch is okay. lying That bitch is <laughs> lying Hardcore okay, wait, wait. You, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta zip it for a minute Let me, let me, let me arouse on some analysis on this bad okay, boy first Okay, okay, okay um, Firstly, storing clothes in bin liners is Unless they are going into like cold storage Like in a fucking shipping container Or in the depths of an attic Mm -hmm. is psychopathic mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. that is like just use an ikea bag use any other kind of form of bag apart from a bag that is synonymous with throw me away mm -hmm. like storing your storing your clothes that you're actively using you know i, I think my mum does it. i think she like bin bags up you know seasonal clothes you know winter jackets or whatever and we'll go mm -hmm. and put them in the attic but she doesn't like leave them lying around she just like you know that's going into the attic now and then it's coming back down that mm -hmm. makes sense mm -hmm. but like bin bags are for throwing things away or for like, you know, going to a place where it's very obvious it's just being used to store stuff. So I think leaving them lying around to me is like, that means they're getting binned. I don't know about you, Ralphs. Okay, okay. If I see a black bag, I assume that's for the bin or that's going to like a charity yeah. shop or something like, you know, it's like that, that the coves in there are like no good no more if it's in a black bin bag. Or like maybe you're moving. That's like the only time I'm like, okay, you just needed somewhere to put the coves temporarily. Okay. I'll only I'll join you on only giving it a pass if the bin bag isn't tied up. Tying up the bin bag, I think, is it is donezo. Like GG. Those bit those clothes are basically like destroyed. Yeah. But like if the bin bag is open and it's just like a temporary like carrying thing, like one, just get an IKEA bag, but two, that's that's maybe more acceptable. Mm -hmm. To the to the to the to the poor fella's fucking lack of dexterity. That is a big failure in, you know, manhood. You know, you, that's you going out there to save the day. <laughs> you got to step up. <laughs> Go on, man. <laughs> you got you to gotta get the shit out of the tip. I would get down in there, honestly. I would get into the fucking bin. I think you would like, die. I think it was like you literally couldn't. It was like the pits of hell. It was like, like you a couldn't muncher, actually go like in there. Like a munching one. Yeah, it was like, you know, you'd lose a leg or something probably. Oh, I was imagining just like a kind of like a skip. No, it was like the serious, like, take the oh, tip fuck. where you, like, chuck it in. How long did he... Can Lydia answer this? How long... This, I imagine this would be, like, an update on the Am I the Arsehole. How yeah. long did he spend fishing for the clothes? How, like, was it, like, uh, five minutes or, like, half an hour? I th I don't... I think they spent, like, 15 minutes or something trying to get, get it until they had to just give up because the bag was, like, falling apart and all the clothes were just falling out of it into the, the trash kind of thing, mm. if you see what I mean. The grabber. <laughs> just I guess mixing the... it into trash. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> okay. All That's right. my take. Rav, sit, hit me with yours. Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. Like the, 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 in my head, before Lydia gives their side of the story, they tried to make good by trying to like get it out. Um, mm. And they said, yeah. before Lydia gives her take, they said, how do we stop this from happening again? So what do we do? I mean, I mean, to be fair, I would check. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I would check. It's quite an extreme action to like go and bin it, mm, or like if, mm. if I was to take it down to my bin room, I would like, I would probably not put it in the bin. I put it next to the bin. You know, I give it like, I put it in like a saving grace area. Mm -hmm. Like I, I do feel like I would double check. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Right. Yeah. Fill us All in. Right. Fill us in on the actual story, then, Lydia. <laughs> 
All right. Now I'm the person that types on the am I the asshole bit being like, um, excuse me, <laughs> uh, this <laughs> is an interesting telling of the story. Mm. Okay. So firstly, he did not get a bollocking. Why am I sounding like such an, a horrible bitch in this story? <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. This is never, he's going to get a bollocking now. This is fucking defamation. They said this question. I said, are you sure you're ready for this? I'm fucking fuming. All right. So let me explain. Right. He's left out so many important details here. Right. So those clothes were clothes that I was going to sell on Vinted. Um, but a bunch of them were basically new clothes because I had ordered them and, uh, they didn't fit and I didn't send it back in time. So they, okay. in all, you know, they basically look like new clothes in packaging kind of thing, but I was going to put it on Vinted and sell them. So we uh, have cats and cat hair gets everywhere. And this was quite a lot of clothes that I was going to mm. sell. Um, and I didn't have anywhere to like I needed to have them in a separate area, like the clothes I'm going to sell. And the only thing that I could put them in at the time was bin bags because I could tie it up so the cat hair doesn't get all over it and keep them like self-contained. I kept them in oh. my room. So mm -hmm. the first time I let this off because this is fair, right? I'd also, when I'm like, Cleaning Wait, shit sorry, out. this happened multiple times. Th yes, this happened twice. This happened twice. <laughs> Wait, right. I thought it only happened once. No, 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 no. This, this is, this is. I got more annoyed the second time. To be fair, <laughs> so <laughs> the first time I'd left like bin bags of trash out, like as in, you know, like when you, I don't know, you empty your bins into a bin bag, and then you might like tie the bin bag up and put it on the landing thinking like, okay, that needs to go out later. And basically hmm. he'd gone round cause he knew I was going to the tip and grabbed all the bin bags in the house, not realizing I didn't tell him to take, I got sure on that message said something about take the bin bags. I didn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't specify, but basically he took all the bin bags, including the bin bags that had my clothes in it. Then I get a message being like, uh, the bin bags, you know, in your room, what were they? And I was like, oh, those are the clothes I'm going to sell on Vinted. And anyway, you know what happens next. So I was, uh, annoyed, but I was like, okay, that's fair enough. Like, I understand if you're just going around the house, grabbing all the bin bags, you didn't notice. Uh -huh. Fair enough. It's a shame. What a waste of clothes, but it happens. The second time, the second time, all right, I am still using the bin bag method because it's the way I can tie it up and the cat head doesn't get all over it. Right. We were about to go away for a few days. Um, I couldn't leave. It's a complicated law. I could not leave a bin bag out because one of my cats likes to chew plastic and it's okay wait, if so I'm the around. Bin, okay, wait, the bin bags aren't even protective from the cats because well, one of the so, cats like to eat the bin bags. So he leaves it alone. It was more or just when I'm away and I'm not like, and I'm not there, if he starts chewing on the plastic and I can't stop him, he could like swallow it and choke on it kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, um, didn't want to leave it out. However, I couldn't shut my door because one of my cats can open doors, right? And he <laughs> sleeps in my room. So I, I knew that Columbo would open the door. So I said, can I store this bin bag of clothes in the, uh, in the sp spare room with the door shut? Um, and okay. he was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Put it in there, shut the door, went away for a few days. Okay. Fast forward like a week later, I'm like, where the fuck is, I go to get something. Where the fuck is my, uh, oh shit, I left it in the other room, the spare room. Go into the spare room, bin bag is gone. I message no. him. I'm like, where's the bin bag of my clothes that I put in there? He's fucking thrown it away. He's thrown <laughs> it away. Come on. Come on. Is that not annoying? After I say, can I put this bin bag in Ooh. here of my clothes? Would you not check? Would you not look to see what it is before you throw it away after I've told him? Was it Come tied on. Or untied? It was tied because I didn't oh, want the cat the hair tie, to go on it. Why did you I know, but the tying. The tying's bad. But yeah. I, but it was just a way to stop because I've got to se like send it to people. I don't want it to be covered in cat hair, right? So I I tie it in yeah. a knot so it doesn't get covered in cat hair. Maybe you Can should you get see? maybe you should buy some like some like plastic boxes. No, literally since then I've got like different things now. We have an agreement. Or just different colour bin bags. Just different colour bin bags. Like, you know, just red ones are just for storage. Red like. ones are my special bin bags. So now I keep it in like a different bags which aren't th things that would be thrown away. But I, the first time it happened, I was like, fair enough. I understand. You didn't realise you just went around throwing away bin bags. The second time, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I mean, the first one's on you, Lydia, and the second one's on him. 
And so actually you're just equal. We're equal basically. now. We're equal. But I'm the one who keeps losing all my fucking clothes. <laughs> Where's the equalness in this? <laughs> no, I think it's equal. I think that counts as equal. One, you know, <laughs> he, you know you're, each, you're each responsible for a loss of clothes. And now you know both, you both understand what it feels like. You what? Know, he doesn't. You, He's not lost any clothes. <laughs> well, you know, maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe I should just throw some of his fucking maybe clothes away. Maybe throw some of his away. That's what, like. what it feels like. But I I'm would just, fucking like, weep. I would oh cry. Yeah. I mean, thankfully it was stuff I was just going to sell. So it wasn't like, oh, this is my favorite clothes that I wear. But still, and it's like, come on, I literally said to you, I'm putting this bag of clothes in here. And, and oh, even what thinking about it, my blood is boiling. Because I, I feel like we have to give him, you know, opportunity to, what would he say to, in that response to your statement? Well, he said, stop putting clothes in bin bags. <laughs> Which is, I do think is so fair. I think I'm, that's so fair with you. I get, I get your argument about the cat hair and stuff. I mean, I, but I just do think putting them in the bin bag is a danger. Is it, you're, you're rolling the dice. You're rolling the fucking dice on whether it's going to get bin. I didn't have anywhere else to store them though. Uh, and I wanted to keep them separate. So I knew that they're the clothes I have to sell. I do. I mean, I don't know. I, what is his explanation for bidding the ones that are, like, I don't it's like? How do you idiot. fuck that up? He, he doesn't like check stuff. He's so absent-minded. He's just like, <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. No. whereas I would check. <laughs> See, I feel like I would have put a um, a, like a, I would have set a tape to, like paper to them on that second time. I didn't think if I had I to. Gonna, <laughs> if I was going to recommit for like the fucking double dip of clothes getting thrown away, I would have made certain those clothes aren't getting binned. I mean, I'm I mean, never, I'm never, I've learned, dangerously. you know, I did learn so it, I lived, I lived dangerously. I never will ever put clothes in a bin bag again, but I wish I probably will because I, I've got a very short term memory and I'll forget about this trauma. No, but, just buy um, like some like Ikea bags and you can tie them up or something. I don't know. Just get some but, like. But then they've got the big holes at the top, you know, you can't really like get that fucking airtight shit, you know, with those big blue but Does bags. it need to be airtight? Um, yeah, I want and to keep that cat like, hair away. Like, my, I've got three cats. They're, they're, my, I'm I basically living in a permanent state of disgust. My lungs are coated with hair. Like, it's then, then grim. Get, <laughs> get like some brightly coloured bin bags. Just brightly coloured bin bags mm -hmm. sorted, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. I just so that's don't your get advice. lazy one day and start using the brightly coloured bin bags as your normal bin bags. Oh, God. Yeah. That's, that's... that's brain training for a man that you can not undo. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So whose side are you on in this Am I the Arsehole? Uh, oh, oh my god, electric in my room. Uh, oh fuck, oh, uh, guys, my door's going. What? I don't want to take a side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what is happening to <laughs> I was like, electric in my room. I was like, Ram's getting electrocuted? <laughs> I was like, Ram's is about to fucking die on the <laughs> podcast. It's, it's, I'm it's, so glad we have this recorded. Is Ram's doing that electric wank? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think we're both fucking morons. I think you're oh. a moron for putting clothes what? in a bin bag. Oh. Yeah, everyone is shit. I honestly think it is that everyone is shit. Like everyone is shit. Okay. Like you're you're did you cannot put things in bin bags that you don't want to be binned. Okay. Like it fundamentally is a big boo boo. Like okay. But also, how the fuck did he bin? How did he <laughs> bin them the second time? It's like actually requires it requires cognitive effort to bin them. Like <laughs> I that's a I mean fair. Did he wait? Wait, wait, so on the second time, did he actually try and get them out? No, well, by that point, they're long gone. Like, oh, I, I would I have think he'd, fucking yeah. love to have seen them try to get it out of the skip with the bag, the, the oh. hook. I would, have, I would have paid to see that. <laughs> All just laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> how, much, how much money of clothes do you reckon you lost there? I mean, not insane. Like enough that it's annoying, not like ridiculous, like ridiculous hundred hundreds. Quid. Yeah, probably something along those lines. Yeah, which is you know still a couple of hundred. And what a waste yeah. as well. What a waste. I'm trying to be a sustainable, sustainable queen, and it's all just yeah, fucking that's, chucked that's away. Honestly, that's the most like if he'd like, oh no, I've accidentally donated them. You know, yeah. it's like oh well, like, oh, you know, oh well, yeah, okay. You know. That, you it's know. just them getting binned is kind of the worst bit so well sad. you've you've just gotten really into color theory we were talking about this the other night and like you know yeah. now now you're going to be buying you know nice color matched outfits and shit don't put That's them in true. bin bags Lydia we don't put, put them, them in fucking bin bags. bags and if you do put them in bin bags put them in colored bin bags colorful They're, bin bags yeah, color theory your bin bags <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, bin bag. I don't okay. remember going to your house and noting that your house was filled with bin bags and things. is this like a recent it's, obsession it's not it was Why just like you... a bin bag in my room full of clothes I don't want the listeners to think I 
I live in like a like a fucking tip. I know, but that's how it's sounding, everywhere. Lydia. I feel it like, is you know, a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is a little bit. It is a bit worrying. It was just the only container I had to grab. All right, all right. Shut up, everyone. Stop <laughs> judging me. Also, <laughs> that fucking message. That message, <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's making me sound like the bad guy. I'll never trust another Am I the Asshole ever again. <laughs> now I know what it feels like to be the person on the other side. It's good PR from him, honestly. Lee guy. said, I can handle it. <laughs> and then they also <laughs> said, she'll definitely know and defend herself, I think. Of course I will. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's, that's, good. that's good shit. We've talked about X on the pod. What do you find a bore? As in, the traits of someone that doesn't revolt you, but makes you wish you weren't left standing next to them in a house party. Mm. Oof. Oof. Oh, oh, this is an interesting one. Oh, this feels mean. <laughs> I know, I feel mean. Oh. I, I gotta say it, that in general, like, just football chat, Right, is, I mean, yeah, it's really, know, it's yeah. really not for me. Like, no. I, I get it. I get that it's people's interest. I get that it's their passion. Mm -hmm. I get that they're bigger nerds about it than I am, a bigger nerd in any game. But, but when you have no, not even a team that you like, just no care mm. about it. The, 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 the small mind issue that football fans get into about the betting and the, you know, he the, fucking the, the offside or. Like, just like, oh my God, like the interpersonal drama of these fucking people who they don't know's lives and shit. It's so insane to me. And I just, it, there's a surface level, you know, amount of football that I can get, get, get into and chat about, you know, the World Cup or whatever. But like, fuck me. In, in depth football chat. And it's only until you actually chat, and for America, that's soccer chat. Until you actually chat to someone who's really into well, so football. Equally, if someone really talks about American football, that would equally annoy me. I guess just any kind of like, yeah, any like I'm just not into sport, like super in-depth, granular sport chat about like just things that I have no understanding is just okay, so repulsive to me of just like, I can put up with it for a bit. And if, if the person's doing a good job at like, you know, bringing you along and helping explain it to you, that's great. But when you're just sat there as like a third wheel to, to sport chat, it's fucking depressing. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a that's a good shout because I think with a lot of things, if someone is interested about something, it can always be interesting to hear about it. If someone's like passionate about something and they're telling you, like it's mm. you know, you can always kind of like ask sharing, questions about sharing it. Passions with each other and, is great. Yeah, but, for sure. I think passion like, transfers into energy definitely though. So like, even if someone's like passionate about football and talks about it, you can like feel that energy from them. And that's but I like, feel like a lot of football chat is just mundane. Yeah. You know, I, 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 so I think, and I think the thing, the reason that the football chat kind of annoys me the most is it's not about so little of it. It's it's basically about watching a TV show. Do you know what I mean? There's mm -hmm. no, at least when you're talking about a game or something, you know, a hobby. There's an interaction that you're doing with it yourself. You know, it's I did this cool thing in a game, or did you see someone do this? I want to try this in the game. There's like a you interaction with it. With the football chat, it's just like talking about a TV show that to me is so boring. And but I don't yeah, care you've about never watched that, and you don't you, have you any don't, attachment that, to. Yeah, like, why are we talking about it? Because we can't change anything about this. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. I'm, I have the same with sport. It's even if someone is really passionate about it, there's only so much I would actually want to listen because I have no interest, no personal stake in it, no emotion yeah. towards it whatsoever. So it's just like, I just, you just don't care. Like, no. You know, so yeah, I'm a hundred percent on that. Okay, so Harry's Harry's picked sport. Have you got Have you got one that fucking grinds your gears, lids? Ah, uh, I don't know if I have one that grinds my gear, but you know what? It, actually, fucking Dota. <laughs> Yeah, Dota fair. It's so boring. And the times where we've been like at the pub and everyone's talking about Dota, it's just like the most mind numbing, boring conversation for me. <laughs> I just have no interest in it. And I don't know what anyone's talking about. And it just is like, I just, it's so boring to me. I think I just, I'm, it's definitely I'm, so, Dota. I'm honestly so glad I quit Dota. I've not played in four years, having played oh, wow. literally like 7,000 hours. Holy shit. I, oh, I, man. I'm so glad I just don't play it anymore. I just don't think it's a fun game. Like, I think it's a great game, but I just don't think it's fun. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I feel the same. I've 
I've got like over a thousand odd hours in it. I know that's like not a lot, but yeah. I I hate that game. I've I've played it a bunch last year and a little bit maybe the start of this year, but I'm just like, yeah, I'm so done with that game. It's just not healthy. It's not good for your brain. The, the thing is, Lydia, when you're, it's very much a football type thing. When you're into mm. it and you and you understand what the conversation is, it's enthralling and great. But yeah. I would say, it's, again, it, it's that inch better than football because at least it's about your experience of playing it and you did a cool thing and, you know, versus my team did a thing yeah, that I watched yeah. them do while I had no input into them doing it. <laughs> like, okay, amazing. Wow, this is such a cool story about someone else doing something amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, for um, sure, for sure, I get you. Uh, but yeah, I, like, I, I guess that's just like, kind of a good generalization any kind of deep intense topic that you don't have particular passion or knowledge about is is the worst conversation topic if people aren't bringing you along for for it if it's complicated right. sometimes at the pub you know i i've recently kind of like you know we did that warhammer brand deal and that was really fun but mm-hmm. like so often like sat at the pub like everyone's <laughs> talking about painting miniatures and yeah. playing the, the, the tabletop game of the week or whatever and i'm sitting there like, i don't i don't do this shit. i don't know the fuck, what the fuck's warhammer like you know yeah, so just sit, just sitting there like what the fuck are you guys talking about like i don't yeah, know yeah. Like, just, yeah um and I also like um Oh, if everyone's like really into a game or something as well, if, like everyone's playing like Final Fantasy fourteen right now on Discord or whatever, mm, and like right. being in the same channel as that is insufferable. It's like so bad. It's like oh, we're gonna do roulettes and go fight, insert Final Fantasy fourteen boss or whatever. I'm just sat there with the fuck. Like I, I hate it. It's it's interesting, isn't it? Because some things like this is so this is a bizarre uh, uh, example, but like. Last night, randomly, the conversation of the uh, Watergate scandal came up, right? And I was asking mm-hmm. questions about it, like, t- tell me about it. Wh- why did it happen, et cetera, et cetera. And I find that really interesting. I didn't really know much about it. I had the vague idea. But like finding out about it, I was like, oh, yeah, this is really cool. This is really interesting. But if someone was telling me about Dota and then or something like that and explaining it, I don't think I would be interested in that. But, but the Watergate scandal, you know, it has like, you know, knock on effects that you can see impacting the world around you, perhaps, mm. or, you know, relevance to, you know, learning the context of it means you understand future political dilemmas and dramas more. You know, the, the learning mm. of history and things that have happened in the past is in it would always be more interesting than someone else's niche passion or hobby, right? Yeah, like, that's there true. is you can take you can the trouble with a dota or 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 sport is there's nothing we can take away from that that's going to impact or change our lives like on a major level yeah 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 that's true like, that's you true. know unless you play it or really into that it just doesn't mean anything to you mm-hmm. so it's like, like they're like there's that like that relevance stuff? yeah 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 definitely so i guess it's basically what it comes down to is it's 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 like sort of niche passions which you're, which you're not into is basically yeah. what it comes down to. And like share, sharing niche passions is really cool, but like the boring the point on them, I think it's yeah. like, it's when people don't know when to stop, right? You know, yeah. You know, it's fun to hear about other things people are doing that you aren't into. That's really cool. That's like one of the joys of life, right? It's learning all these wonderful things that you might not be into, but you know, it's cool to be experiencing them for other people, but just getting talked at about them <laughs> or being part of a conversation that never ends about them is just yeah. so shit. I guess there's also a difference between like, say when you told us about your Pokemon card experience, that was like super interesting because that was like what you'd experienced and what you'd done. Whereas yeah. talking about this Dota game where this character did this is it's, I can't like connect to that. It's not, yep. you know what I mean? It's these characters. I don't know. I'm trying to, trying to make sense. Like but. I, I would like, I, I, I don't care about who the current Dota hero is or whatever. But if someone went to a Dota event or went and did a Dota thing, I'd love to hear about it. You know, that's mm. like, that's super interesting. That's really cool. That's something different. But if it's just last night we played seven games and in our third game, you know, this <laughs> happened and it's like, well, I don't care. Like, it's just meaningless. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, just yeah. It's literally meaningless. Okay. Well, there we go, everyone. Don't talk about football, Dota or Warhammer around us. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to zone out. The, the, thing, I, the thing is, I'm like now kind of starting to appreciate Warhammer, but I am like... I like painting them. I just don't know anything about like the lore or playing. That's the, the thing. Game. I don't know the Not lore, really but I was like it. painting it and playing it was fun. 
Yeah, no, I liked playing it and, with help. And yeah. every now and then they're like, ah, yes, the space orgy god of chaos. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> There's like weird sex parties? What the fuck's going on there? Like, <laughs> okay. What, so then you get interested. But, uh, yes. <laughs> I think there's just so many different angles with Warhammer. It's a bit more multifaceted. You know, there's the play on tabletop. There's the people who love the lore. There's the people who love doing the hobbying side. Mm. That there's there's a bit more scope to cover than something yeah, like yeah. you know Dota, where it's just I play it or I watch it, <laughs> and that's really it. Like, but yeah, let us know in the comments what's your topic that you sort of zone out once it comes up. The Royals. Yeah. The Royals. The Royals. Well, they, they won't have got to this bit of the podcast. <laughs> they wouldn't get it. They would have got it. They would have just tuned out. No, I'm just kidding. That was an interesting chat. Yeah, a very good one. <laughs> nice stuff. Nice, nice to do some very, very current affair things. I feel like we never do anything that's kind of, you know, we're always answering questions three months late. You know, yeah. the, getting to dramas two months late. Like, oh my god, we're becoming a drama gossip podcast. Or is it all going to have moved on in less than a week? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All, She's going to, like, yeah, she'll be fucking doing live TikToks dancing. She's dead. Well, on that note. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kate. <laughs> Rest in peace. Thank you for listening, everyone. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. We're going to go do um, a little Am I the Asshole? Yep. Yeah. Check it out. And uh, so thank you very much for our Patreons for uh, subbing. Uh, if you want to check out our previous episodes of Am I the Asshole, you can find it over at our Patreon, which is... Patreon.com slash zero degrees. There we yeah. go. But in the meantime, we will see you next week. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.